and we're gonna go watch them blow some glass and see the 24 foot bomb. So Jerome Baker live here at the Las Vegas Dream Factory with CannabisChannel.com. Uh, super stoked you guys are here in the house. All right, so Jerome Baker live here at Las Vegas Dream Factory with CannabisChannel.net. Super stoked for you guys here in the house in Las Vegas and want to show you about the pieces. So here we have some stuff that we made last night. It comes out of the kiln. Uh, I take a little piece, of, a little glass sleeve. I put it in every one and I match it with a bowl. We pack our orders. Over here's our boxes getting ready to ship behind you. And um, we, this is where all the magic happens. We uh, pack them, ship them, get them out to the clients and uh, make everybody happy and inspired. Okay, so we make lunch boxes to put your party pack in. Uh, inside these lunch boxes, foam you can cut away and insert your pieces of glass and um, cannabis or concentrates and carry it all in one. So we make a lot of different lunch boxes, limited edition release drops. Every box is as um, you know a piece of art as as far as we see it. So we got some cool bongs going on. Everything's handmade. No two are alike. Uh, you have fumed elements, colored glass. Uh, we try to keep everything really nice and different. Oh, so beautiful. What is this? These are Puffco Peak Attachments. Those are kind of the Owl series. We just made a couple of runs uh, where we got inspired by the owls and did something neat. So follow me down this way. This is where all of our inventory is. Uh, we store things. Uh, so we can keep them all nice and tidy so everything gets out nice to the client and nobody complains. Follow me. Yeah, yeah this is an old one. So here we have our sales guys working hard right now, getting ripped. Got a lot of R&D that has to happen in here. Uh, sales offices. And here we have some of the, some of the magic, some of the magic. Did you win? Did you win? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Let me get a light from him. No. Marbles. Marbles. Oh wow. Okay. So you don't lose your marbles. Tell us about this. When did you start making them this big? Well, my history is um, I, in the 1990s. I had a business with over 70 employees after Grateful Dead tour, and um, in. You know, 1999, we were doing about $4 million a year. I had 70 employees rocking and rolling. By 2003, I was arrested along with Tommy Chong and 55 others in something called Operation Pipe Dreams. So that I got arrested for manufacturing drug paraphernalia. And they tell, you know, they say they're not allowed to make bongs anymore. And so this is my response. This is how I talk through my art. And I make giant, colorful bongs and use them as um, what, what I call degenerate art. And um, I like to show them off and, and uh, have the big bombs, man. It's the cool thing to do, right? Um, you know, it's, it's, it's the new dab craze that took over the flowers in uh, 2010. Between 2010 and 2012, uh, dabbing became extremely popular. And so this is kind of like, you know, in, in my world, you know, how quickly it goes. That's, you know, one of those pieces, probably 15 people all at one time, and it's about six hours of work in the hot shop. So um, I use uh, uh, the 
best in the business to help me uh, create these large scale works in glass. Uh, so we try to ensure as much success as possible. Go. This is to make noise. Okay, as again, as an artist, you know, it's my statement. I, I, I believe that, that the bong is cool and that, you know, it inspires people. So that's why it's so large, because I need to make noise and, and there's a lot of glass artists out there. And it's a you know, competitive uh, world that I live in. And so I feel like this is my way to stand out uh, outside of the pack. Thank you. Long Garden. The turtles, uh, that's, a pic that's a painting of some of my pieces. So that's a small piece that I made a, a, a quick run of. No How many people do you have? The, in our crew, we have a small family. There's about five of us here. They cre just create all day. A couple of us sell, pack, ship. It's not a big, big, big game like it used to be. What we do now is we make lots of noise with, with the scale and the quality and the caliber of glass that we make. So we try to just keep it on that level. And, you know, we're not making a lot of production. So just off camera, though, this place is Yeah, that's why I live on Maui now. I expect go back, back and forth, 50-50. And we have a glass studio over there that we Yeah. This is my boy Omar, master lathe technician. He's doing one of the hardest parts of the piece right now. Three-way seal. We got our boy Forrest here all the way from North Carolina visiting artists. Say hi, Forrest. Hello, how you doing? Cannabis TV, CannabisChannel.net. Live with Forrest from North Carolina. <laughs> I am very excited to hit, be here. Uh, he's live one on camera, man. You hear that? Climaxing everywhere. Over here with Chris Campbell. Been, been with Jerome Baker since the 90s. What up, Chris? How's it going? Cannabischannel.net, hot and on fire. Making some uh, nice glass for some finished uh, tubes here coming out. Chris Campbell from Eugene, Oregon, Grants Pass, Oregon, relocated down here to Las Vegas Dream Factory to make the magic happen. Hell yeah, make it. Yeah. Over here, we got Mr. Chuck Lambert, Hoosier. Been with Jerome Baker since 1996. Say what up, Chuck. Hi, how's it going? Cannabischannel.net, right here with Chuck Lambert. Hot. Also known as Gene Simmons. Las Vegas Gene Simmons. What's going on, guys? Las Vegas Gene Simmons. How you doing, man? Right here, cannabis, cannabischannel.net. Las Vegas Gene Simmons. That's right. That's right. Getting her done. <laughs> 